Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will be doing the stanza wise explanation of the poem after Blenheim which is written by Robert Zaudi. Let's start. It was a summer evening, old Casper's work was done and he before his cottage door was sitting in the sun and by him sported on the green his little grandchild Wilhelmine. In the spara, the poet is telling that old Casper has completed his work and uh, it is a summer evening and he is sitting before his cottage door in the sun and by him uh, by him here means near to him sported means playing on the green green here means field his little grandchild Wilhelmine it means that uh, near him uh, he uh, the Casper is sitting in the sun before his cottage door and his grand little grandchild Wilhelmine is playing on the field near him she saw her brother Peterkin roll something large and round which he beside the rivulet in playing there had found he came to ask what he had found that was so large and smooth and round uh, while playing, she is she saw her brother Peterkin rolling something which is very large and round, which he beside the rivulet. Rivulet means a small stream. In playing there had found. This means that uh, while playing, uh, she uh, she saw her brother Peterkin, and uh, Peterkin is rolling something large and round, uh, which he had found while playing beside the small stream. Uh, he has. He came to ask uh, that what he had found, uh, uh, that uh, this something which is large and round, what is this he wants to ask. Uh, old Casper took it from the boy who stood expectant by, and then the old man shook his head and with a natural sigh, "'Tis poor fellow's skull," said he, who fell in the great victory. In this para, uh, the poet is saying that the old Casper took that skull from the boy, and who uh, from the boy? Uh, here, the description of the boy is given that the boy is uh, very uh, is expectant. Expectant means expecting or hoping to get a reply. Like he is, he is expecting. Um, he is curious to know that what the thing is. And then the old man shook his head and with a natural sigh that he shook his head and took a breath and told that this is some poor fellow's skull who fell in the great victory. The great victory refers to the battle in which English defeated the French. And uh, he's saying that this is some poor fellow's skull, uh, skull who fell in the great victory who fell in the great victory means who died in in that victory in that war in that battle i find them in the garden for there's many here about and often when i go to blow the plosher turns them out for many thousand men said he were slain in that great victory in this paragraph he's explaining that uh, not uh, just one he had find many of them while plowing the field and uh, while plowing, uh, the plowshare, that is a broad braid of a plow, turns them out, brings them up. Um, because many, many people, many thousand, thousands of men were killed in that great victory. So it, he just means that there are many more skulls, not just one. Now tell us what it was all about. Young Peterkin, he cries, and little Wilhelmine looks up with wonder-waiting eyes. Now tell us all about the war, and what they fought each other for. In this paragraph, young Peterkin is asking the grandfather to tell him that what was the reason for the war, what was the purpose of the war, while uh, the little Wilhelmine is looking up with wonder waiting eyes wonder waiting eyes means expecting to hear and see exciting things now will he mean is uh, like she's a, she's a small uh, child and small children love stories so she's also excited to l uh, listen uh, the story of the battle or the war what happened she was excited to know that 
It was the English Caspar cried who put the French to rout. But what they fought each other for, I could not well make out. But everybody said, quoth he, that it was a famous victory. Now, uh, here it is written, Caspar cried. This doesn't mean that he is crying there. It means he is telling all this uh, with a sad face, he, in sadness. He is uh, in grief. And he is telling that it was the English who defeated the French. Road means to defeat. But what they fought each other for, I could not well make out. He is saying that, but I do not know what the purpose of the war was. But everybody said that it was a famous victory. Quote he means he said. Quote is an old English word. Nowadays it is not used. And twas it was it written. It means it was. It is not twas. It was. That it was a famous victory. My father lived at Blenheim then. Yon little stream hard by. They burned his dwelling to the ground and he was forced to fly. So with his wife and child he fled, nor had he where to rest his head. Now he's telling that uh, that the Caspar's father, Caspar is telling uh, about him, that his father lived at Blenheim at that time and... Uh, Yon means beyond, uh, beyond the little stream. That is, uh, hard by means very near. Like, uh, at Blenheim, he lived near a, beyond or near by a small stream. They burned his dwelling to the ground. Uh, they burned, uh, dwelling means a house or place to live in. So they burned his house or the place where he lived and he was forced to run away. So with his wife and child, he ran away. Uh, he didn't know where to take rest or where to stay. He had no place at that point, but he just ran away. With fire and sword, the country round was wasted far and wide, and many a childing mother then and newborn baby died. But things like that, you know, must be at every famous victory. In this paragraph, the poet is telling us that... Uh, the war was terrible it was it was a horrible scene and uh, with fire and sword the whole country was destroyed everything was destroyed and many a childing mother then a newborn baby died childing mother means uh, a mother expecting a child that is a pregnant woman and uh, he's saying that many a uh, pregnant women and the newborn babies died in that bloody war but things like that you know must be at every famous victory and at the last he's saying that uh, but such things happen at every famous victory you know they say it was a shocking sight after the field was won for many thousand bodies here lay rotting in the sun but things like that you know must be after famous victory in this paragraph he's saying that uh, after they won the battle Field was won means the battle was won and uh, after the battle was won they say that it was a very shocking sight. This is very shocking as many of the many thousand bodies were uh, rotting in the sun and uh, but things like that you know must be after a famous victory. Now he's saying that but you know in after every famous victory such things happen only. Great praise the Duke of Marlborough won, and a good Prince Eugene. Why, it was a very wicked thing, said little Wilhelmine. Nay, nay, my little girl, quoth he, it was a famous victory. Now, um, Wilhelmine is saying in, in an irony, Great praise the Duke of Marlborough won, and a good Prince Eugene. Now, the little Wilhelmine is saying that everybody praised the Duke of Marlborough and a good and a good Prince Eugene but she finds uh, this as a very wicked thing wicked things very cruel or yeah we can say it as cruel thing and then his grandfather is saying no no my little girl it was a famous victory Nene um, is 
uh, actually in this poem uh, po the poet uh, has used many old english words that is nay nay it means no no my little girl it was a famous victory and everybody praised the duke who this great fight did win but what good came of it at last quoth little peterkin why that i cannot tell said he but it was a famous victory now he the peterkin is saying that everybody praised the duke who uh, won this great fight but uh, what good came of it at last uh, what uh, what what good things happened because of the war and uh, what uh, what good came of it at last quoth little peterkin why that i cannot tell said he but it was a famous victory and the uh, grasper Uh, could all could tell is that uh, it was a famous victory he doesn't know why or what was the reason for the war but he could just say that it was a famous victory and so the poem is completed the explanation is completed and now if you want the difficult word meanings i'll provide them to you in the description box and please do like share and comment for the video thank you everyone bye bye